Welcome to the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the University of South Carolina. We are a member of the College of Arts and Sciences and located in Columbia, the state capital. Our department has 32 research active faculty, 150 graduate students, and dozens of professional staff. Our department provides even more opportunities of research and teaching when you take into account the multiple collaborations we have with other universities, national labs, and private companies. So as the department, we really pride ourselves in a uh, collaborative and friendly environment. So really, the idea being friendly within our walls and competitive on the national scale. Our graduate students are the pride of the department, and they regularly win university, national, and international awards. Some students are also supported by national fellowships from Departments of Defense and NSF, and really our graduate students are our most valuable products. What do you like about your program? I love the community in this department. I know that I can go to anyone with a question and they'll help me out. Um, we have wonderful facilities here. We have a brand new building for teaching facilities, and the two research buildings we have are absolutely wonderful. It's, uh, it's just a wonderful place to be. To be the campus, the community is very welcoming and opening. Uh, yeah, so our, our faculty get quite a bit of recognition. Uh, we, I just actually looked it up. We have 12 NSF Career Award winners, uh, 11 AAAS fellows, multiple other fellows, uh, and dozens of, of regional and, and national awards. The faculty and department are supported by an excellent group of professional staff, and our shared research facilities are run by experienced research faculty. The research facilities are comprised of four NMR instruments, various mass spectrometers, a state-of-the-art X-ray diffraction instrument, and ultra-fast Linux computational clusters. These facilities are capable of servicing the entire department, and in addition, students are regularly trained and individually use these instruments in their research. With all of these aspects comprised into one department, it makes for an exciting place to perform your graduate studies. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry in South Carolina, a place to learn, a place to thrive, a place to live. You know, you can join a group and work in organic chemistry as well as dabble in biochemistry. You can work on materials as well as look at, you know, how materials are interacting with one another. And you really get a really well-rounded education by the time you leave. The organic division has four main research areas, polymer, supermolecular, synthetic methodology, and bioorganic. There are six faculty members who have some or all of their research program based in polymer chemistry. We have ongoing research in polymer synthesis, theory, self-assembly, characterization, properties, and devices covering fields such as renewable and sustainable polymers, antimicrobial biomaterials, nanomaterials for energy devices, molecularly imprinted polymers, polymer membranes for fuel cells, and more. In addition to the fundamental science, students often move their chemistry into applications, which we believe helps them compete for industrial positions after graduation. Our department also has a vibrant collaborative research in the area of supermolecular chemistry. Our groups study the nature and energetics of non-covalent interactions, as well as groups that use these interactions to build structures, including covalent organic frameworks, porous molecular solids, persistent micelles, and self-assembled bio-nanoparticles. The organic division is also active in methodology development. Cutting edge research is being done in photochemistry, mechanistic studies, and combined reaction environments. These areas allow for cross-divisional training and collaboration, which makes our students well-rounded scientists when they graduate. Uh, chemical biology is an interdisciplinary research direction of the organic chemistry and biochemistry division at USC. Professor Jay Lee's group is seeking to discover biologically active compounds as drug candidates and novel catalytic efficient enzymes for chemical synthesis. The Levine Lab is interested in developing innovative methods for the biomolecular recognition of saccharides for disease diagnosis and prognosis applications. One active research direction of Tuanbing Tang's group is the creation of antimicrobial polymers and biomaterials, which has been continuously funded by NIH and other federal agencies. The Qian Wang group is working on the development of bioorthogonal conjugation reactions and protein-based biomaterials for biomedical applications. Graduates of our program have found positions in major companies such as Dow, DuPont, 3M, Invista, BASF, Goodyear, Mayo Clinic, as well as many small and medium-sized companies. Our students have also placed well at national labs, 
such as the U.S. Air Force Academy and other universities around the world. Our analytical chemists use a wide variety of tools to address many different research topics, including environmental contaminants, climate change, marine and planetary exploration, and neurochemistry. My name is Dr. Susan Richardson, and I do environmental research with a focus on drinking water contaminants, such as disinfection byproducts and algal toxins. We use gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GC mass spec, in our research, and we work closely with toxicologists with the overall goal of trying to make drinking water safer. Dr. John Ferry also does environmental research, studying how natural and technological processes can work to remove trace organic chemicals from the environment, with a special focus on the role of sunlight in surfaces. And Dr. Tim Shaw also does environmental research, and he studies the transport and cycling of trace elements and nutrients that are associated with lakes, coastal marine systems, and even submarine groundwaters. Dr. Paristu Hishimi develops electrochemical microelectrode technologies for real-time analysis of biologically and environmentally important molecules. And finally, Dr. Mike Angel develops new types of remote and in situ laser spectroscopy techniques for use in extreme environments with application to deep ocean and planetary exploration, including the planet Mars. Here you'd have the opportunity to explore a wide range of different fields that you have access to as a physical chemist. Research in the Chen Group is focused on atomic level understanding of chemical reactions occurring on surfaces. The goal of this research is to design and develop better heterogeneous catalysts. Experiments in the Chen Group are carried out in ultra-high vacuum chambers using state-of-the-art surface analysis techniques. The projects in the Berg Group are defined by a central question. How do molecules move and interact in time? The Berg Group uses ultra-fast lasers to observe the fastest and most basic molecular processes in liquids and solutions. Connecting these fast light pulses to chemical processes requires new types of spectroscopy, which are also being developed. The Myrick Research Group specializes in optical spectroscopy, instrumentation, and chemometrics. A typical project includes studies of the response of cultures and single cells of ocean phytoplankton to environmental variables, such as nitrate, phosphate, temperature, and light. These responses are used for identifying cells, and more recently, for environmental sensor development. Research in the Wang group spans physical chemistry, molecular biology, and nanoscience with major focus on two directions, single molecule biophysics and single particle nanophotonics. The Wang group is particularly interested in using single molecule spectroscopies to probe multi-scale molecular conformations and conformational dynamics of biomolecules, such as nucleic acids, proteins, and nucleoprotein complexes. The Gray Tech Lab focuses on synthesis, spectroscopy, and surface modification of quantum dots and other semiconductor nanostructures. Preparative methods include air-free synthetic chemistry, chromatography, and microfabrication. The Gray Tech Group is using isothermal titration calorimetry to understand how to stabilize highly fluorescent quantum dots. Water-soluble quantum dots can be employed in biological fluorescence microscopy. The Theory Group at USC focuses research on method development in all major branches of theoretical chemistry, data-driven materials discovery by Dr. Sutton, modeling of polymer mechanics and rheology by Dr. Gee, dynamic isotope effects by Dr. Goraschuk, models of correlated electrons by Dr. Rasiloff. The Theory Groups have access to the cutting-edge University of South Carolina flagship cluster Hyperion, which contains 407 computing, GPU, and big data nodes and the computing facilities at the AI Institute. The Inorganic Division is currently comprised of six professors, over 30 graduate students, and dozens of undergraduate researchers working on cutting-edge research that ranges from catalysis to MOFs to boron chemistry to hierarchical structures and metal clusters. The Adams Research Group is investigating the activation of small organic molecules through their coordination to two or more of the metal atoms in polynuclear metal carbonyl complexes. The activated molecules are then converted to new compounds by reactions that lead to the formation of new carbon-carbon bonds. 
The main theme of research in the Parashkov's group is the inorganic synthesis of new unusual and reactive molecules, inorganic ligands, organic products, and organometallic compounds. We make reactive multi-metallic complexes for catalysis and study materials chemistry of main group elements. The Shustova research team targets the development of materials for solar energy conversion, gas phase catalysis, nuclear waste remediation, and energy storage. As a part of our broad portfolio, we work on metal organic frameworks, graphitic materials, covalent organic frameworks, and porous inorganic scaffolds. The Venucci Research Group designs and studies molecular catalysts with an emphasis on sustainable chemistry. Research projects include the conversion of biomass and the development of photocatalytic synthesis methods. The interdisciplinary boat group is composed of material scientists and mathematicians working on providing new measurement capabilities such as high temperature characterization up to 1000 degrees Celsius and new analysis techniques of aberration corrected images. The Zerloy group investigates the crystal growth of new materials including new scintillating oxides and fluorides and new uranium, thorium, and plutonium containing structures. In the latter case, we synthesize new hierarchical waste form materials for the effective immobilization of nuclear waste. The inorganic division is also home to the Center for Hierarchical Waste Form Materials, a DOE Energy Frontier Research Center. This EFRC focuses on materials for safe nuclear waste storage and is an $11 million collaboration involving five universities and three national labs headed up at South Carolina. The biochemistry division includes four professors, 21 graduate students, and several postdoctoral and undergraduate researchers working on multidisciplinary projects ranging from protein crystallography to natural product biosynthesis and drug discovery to bacterial genetics and fungal pathogenesis. Karen Alton's group studies how pathogenic and non-pathogenic fungi relate iron homeostasis and redox balance by leveraging a variety of biochemical, molecular biology, and cell biology techniques. Their research spans the fields of bioinorganic chemistry, redox biochemistry, and mitochondrial function and physiology. The Krush Laboratory specializes in protein chemistry and structural biology. They use X-ray crystallography to obtain models of proteins, gain insight into their function, and understand their interactions with other molecules. They focus on proteins that are directly related to human health, like allergens and antibodies, as well as proteins from agricultural pests. Wayne Alton's laboratory specializes in microbial genetics, protein biochemistry, and bioinorganic chemistry. They use a variety of genetic, biochemical, and biophysical techniques to understand how proteins work together to build iron cofactors in the cell. Their research focuses on iron utilization by bacteria, including pathogenic bacteria that cause human disease. Working with microbes, the Lee Lab seeks to discover biologically active compounds for drug discovery, as well as catalytically efficient enzymes for chemical synthesis. They capture and move microbial biosynthetic genes into hosts to produce compounds, and they also express microbial biosynthetic enzymes in test tubes to catalyze chemical reactions. All four biochemistry groups rely on strong collaborations within USC and other groups across the globe. Previous PhD graduates from our division have landed top-notch positions at national labs in biotech and pharmaceutical companies such as Chimera Therapeutics and Pfizer, and some have also gone on to start their own independent research labs. Notably, a recent graduate from the Krush Lab joined the Duke Human Vaccine Institute to work on treatments for pathogens such as COVID-19 and HIV. So would you recommend that uh, other students considering uh, their choices come here to study what you study? Yeah, certainly.